hello guys good morning good afternoon good evening how are you guys doing i hope you guys are fine i hope you guys are okay so today we are going to make actually we're going to see another video about red team tools and operations and today we are going to talk about a very very useful tool when it becomes to talk about vulnerabilities that is shodan all right so i already have shodan here i'm on my dashboard okay what so i already have shodan open here and today we are going to some queries i'm not like a specialist but here we can see some filters cheat uh cheat cheat and well the first thing we are going to see is os operating system windows and then port let's see just first just windows okay let me give some zoom here all right so here we have some information and let's try windows xp believe me or not there is still few places that use windows xp let's see if yeah and here we are windows xp serves pack 2 and then here we have the countries we have the microsoft sql all right windows xp and then we have other stuff here and probably in between one of these we are going to find oh look at that telnet serves all right on port 23 so could be possible for some vulnerability uh, well, it's it's very very nice we see this kind of stuff because maybe there is some vulnerability. Okay, we can just try something. I'm not going to try because I'm just showing show them to, but probably uh, in few videos to the front we are going to see actually some invasion using meta exploit all right so here we have all right and well we can see everything so let's say we can we want to check for the port 445 and let's just put here right here let's see how many results we got okay so now we have like smb authentication enabled windows xp 5.2 and well we can see here that we have one from united states sarasota uh eternal blue vulnerability all right even that authentication is enabled it's possible to exploit because there is a vulnerability let's check this Okay, click here and check it. So here we have some information and here we have the vulnerability MS17-010. So the security update resolves vulnerability Microsoft Windows, the most severe. All right, and then we have here another CVE another cve actually like open ssh is 9.6 and well we can see some vulnerabilities here okay uh look into that we can <laughs> we can see microsoft RPC, rpc endpoint mapper we can use like some oh i forgot there's a, a library actually with a lot of information there we can a lot of tools scripts in python that we can check for out for it so what's the name of it let me see open terminal uh it's uh where are you where are you where are you sniper projects and it's right i'm no 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 cve school 
No exploit slaughter bomber. No impact. Impact. Uh, there is a lot of scripts inside. We can check for many kind of vulnerabilities. Okay, uh, so we found a lot of Windows XP, but uh, let's say we just want to see for authentication. Authentication. Disabled. Right. It means like there is no authentication. So it's easier to get some info. Why happened? running this so let me see authentication right huh. let me see something yeah so look to that we have authentication disabled okay and then here we can use like uh, SMB for Linux to mount the unit we can use like some impact uh, we're real here again. We can use like a lot of impact tools, okay, to to get to connect to it. Uh, SMB server. We can run. We can check for uh, SMB units using a lot of different tools inside. I think it's here inside somewhere. SMB client, for example, okay, or RPC database for the vulnerability before we spoke just spoken okay so in the example we have a few more like uh, secret dump RPC dump okay so uh, there's a lot of possibilities with impact using Shodan well here we have like uh, disabled authentication disabled and here we can see a lot of volumes or shares okay so probably in some corporation network uh, well we have a screenshot here looks like no but we have a Samba share it's a disk IPC for Samba server and we have more okay, so let's see the next one here we have adjust geo and we have print okay here we have few more audit cap public mac matter 7h i have no clue what is it but still and here we have a vulnerability uh well look to that admin okay uh the c the the disk all right there and then we have the ipc and printer uh, the problem here is we have they're running smb version one okay that is not using authentication the software is 5.1 windows 2000 it's a learn manager it means like the ma for management uh, well there's a lot of possibilities here here is the same Windows 7 Professional, the built version 7600. And well, here we have admin also. And then we have double poster vulnerability right here. Let's click here and open a new tab. Okay, so here we have a lot of vulnerabilities, right? 2024. Okay, 2024, 2024, and well, let's see here a lot of vulnerabilities. Okay, that, this is very interesting because there are some companies they just don't care about what they're doing, about their security, you know, and sometimes you just have to push it. But obviously, this is for legal use only, right? Please, don't do shit with your life. I'm not responsible for what you do using Shodan or any other tool I will present here to you. Okay? So, I don't care what you are going to do. 
okay it's your responsibility if you like has a fucking shit mind okay uh, it's your own problem all right so well there's a lot of vulnerabilities here that is the point okay but let's say okay but i want to get some uh some country all right in country are going to use like um poland let's see what we're going to get oh nothing huh let me see why sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't work it's very strange the query show them yeah it's very strange why it's not working let me see something here yeah i don't know why it's not working so us let me see what we can get here yeah here we have a lot of uh vulnerabilities port we can just write down 445 and try it so let's see if we're going to get some results yes we got some results smb version 1 windows server 2012 r2 also this server is a random eof end of life well it's insanity you know like uh, authentication disabled and ipc you got the connection with the server i don't know how people just don't care uh, like the cto or the it management you know they just don't care about updating and expending some money actually is investing some money on cyber security i just don't get it like windows server 2008 r2 this because the authentication is enabled that could be a lot of another vulnerability you know what i mean like here we have symbol ubuntu and then authentication disabled also there's a, a a big problem actually you know so let's say we want to find some uh product uh mysql let me see what we can get here well port uh three three oh six oh yeah i know i know i know i know yeah here we are capabilities okay and well mysql protocol version host is not allowed to connect to this sql server mysql server um there's another messages there we can see it's not allowed it's not allowed you know, and here we have some stuff okay okay so all right so let's back to authentication disabled port 21 let's see what we get uh, well forbidden session okay uh, and here we are looking for port 21 that's ftp server right with authentication disabled so virtual address sharing is disabled uh, all right running 64-bit architecture okay 
and then authentication disabled one in in all right oh then get it okay so here we have few information and authentication disabled and here is forbidden 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 okay but if we keep digging we can find something okay always we always can find something so i recommend you guys to check about um shodan all right i paid like eight dollars on black friday so i recommend you guys to to pay some attention for december mostly black friday happens and you can use this very nice tool okay but there's pricing and well the free version you can get like two pages if if i'm not wrong you can get two pages all right from shoulda so that's it guys thanks a lot for watching my videos uh well i hope you guys like it and see you guys in the next video